What's up guys, welcome back to F4A. I have another movie review for you here today. I'm gonna be reviewing Batman Beyond The Return of Joker. I don't know if any of you have seen this uh, movie. It's a short movie, it's on HBO Max currently. It's specifically about Terry McGinnis, him as Batman, and old man, him being a, he's the prodigy of Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne's an old man in his like early to mid 80s. He's retired as Batman, but he's been coaching Terry and showing him like uh, how to be a better Batman and showing him like how to save Gotham, how to prioritize saving people and improving upon himself while doing it. And this is a, t and Terry's a teenager. And the thing is too, he's doing a decent job as Batman just in general. But the crazy thing about this uh, movie is that Joker, like the Joker, the actual Joker, appears in the future. Hello, Gotham. Joker's back in town. <laughs> and he's pushing, he looks pretty good for a guy who's supposed to be pushing 80 years old since he's Batman's uh, nemesis. And he's been gone for decades and no one knows what happened to him. Bruce is afraid to even say specifically what happened to Joker. It's a crazy storyline that goes on and on and deeper into it and everything. Now, it, in this, in the case of the movie, you dab into the diabolical like story. Is this the real Joker? Is it not the real Joker? Is this a clone? Is it somehow like or another story that's going on that uh, no one can explain what exactly happened? The truth is, in this, I'm not going to ruin the movie, but I really think you guys should check out this movie. It's really good, and it, like dabs into like the good, the or, like the old comics and such, just like, and the mystery of what's going on. Where is this guy coming from? How does he know this information? Because the crazy thing is, on this little spoiler alert, the, this Joker knows. All of Batman's history, and he knows that Bruce Wayne is Batman. Oh no, your old eyes do not deceive you, Brucey. After all, you know me better than you. And just his shock. It's just crazy, like, seeing Bruce, like, actually in shock, seeing, uh, his old nemesis actually alive and talking to him, and it's actually him, and the authentic- the authentication in his voice. His patterns and behavior and everything and I really do think you guys should watch this movie it gives you a lot of crazy and different little mini storylines and different perspectives because you see Barbara Gordon as the chief of police and she's retired from being Batgirl you see Tim Drake he's retired from being Robin they briefly mention uh, uh, Dick Grayson but it's just interesting seeing the storyline and that Clearly, too, Terry's a little more, he's a teenager, so he's a little arrogant, thinking, I can take him, I can take him on, and such. That's just Terry, like, he's a teenager, that's just the way he's thinking. But he does not know, like, the Joker, because he wasn't there when Joker was being rampant around Gotham constantly and making a menace out of everything. And the thing is, too, just, Bruce doesn't mention Joker, like, at all. He has his legacy and everything, and his leg and Joker's legacy is in Gotham, and but no one actually knew the Joker and how, like, how he acted on precisely, like, how, like, crazy he, this man actually was. Ah, uh, the new boy. Ears are too long, and I miss the cape, but not too shabby, not too shabby at all. And how much, too, you should not underestimate him. Fake Joker or not. I do think you guys should check out this movie. It's on currently on HBO. It's uh, Batman Beyond, The Return of Joker. Let me know if you th what you think of it down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.